respond fast enough. We did not respond in the magnitude at an earlier enough time to be able to avoid some of these consequences. The latest tonight after this snowy nightmare in Georgia. We've all seen the video of the traffic gridlock on the streets of Atlanta. Today, Georgia's governor took the blame. And tonight, an Anderson couple is finally home after being stranded at the Atlanta airport for two days in that snowy mess. Box 59's Eric Levy is live at Indianapolis International Airport tonight with their story. Eric? Yeah, Fanchon, you can imagine what it was like having to rub elbows with hundreds of other stranded passengers and on top of that sleeping on the cold, hard airport floor. The relief it was to finally return home. Hours seeming like eternity. My life was stuck in five hours. I'm going to freak out. The city should have known what it's doing. The pictures coming out of Atlanta are like something out of an apocalyptic thriller. Abandoned cars on a deserted highway. But it's a true story told by Michael and Jody Bain. We started to land there. I looked outside and I could see the traffic. And I've been in Atlanta yeah. probably 20 times. And I could see all the traffic there. I knew right then it was a nightmare. This nightmare happened while they were awake. It was real. I started feeling panic because I was afraid we weren't going to get out of there for another day. In total, the Baines spent Tuesday and Wednesday at Atlanta's Hartsfield-Jackson Airport. They couldn't get their Indy flight, and as you can see in this photo, other folks had the same problem. The Baines couldn't even get to a hotel, so they had to be crafty. We found a nice isolated area. We, we got our blanket that they were offering, and we laid down. Too and... fresh. But then 15 minutes later, police told them they had to leave that area. So they turned these vinyl-covered, slightly cushioned terminal seats into their bed. The people in the restaurants, so there was at least two of them closed. There were so many people that they couldn't keep up with the trash. The trash was starting, the cans were starting to get over full. And that nightmare ended when their standby status got them on a plane for Indianapolis, finally, around 8.30 Wednesday night. Didn't realize, you know, how, how good home is until you're somewhere where you, you're, you can't be. So what else could make this worse? Not having your luggage. The Baines luggage was not delivered when it was supposed to be tonight. They were told it would be because it didn't make it here to Indianapolis on time. Tonight they're still waiting for it. We are live at the Indianapolis International Airport. Eric Levy, Fox 59 News. All right, Eric, thank you. We are glad they are back home safe and sound as we now prepare for the round. Boy, yeah. that, that's worst case that's scenario. Yeah. Hopefully, hopefully yeah, we want to.